Hello, welcome to part four. I'm uh, sober this time, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this uh, a little bit more cautiously now. Because, um, yeah, I very, very nearly died. I think my torso ended up at, I don't know, five hit points or something ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, gonna be a little bit more cautious this time. Hmm, so fire distracts dogs. Did you see that dog sort of jumping around there? Ah, uh, yeah. Setting fires of corpses does not destroy them enough, apparently. Because there's a little pile of corpses here that I've previously set fire to, I think on the first day, but... Hmm... So I really do have to smash them or butcher them. Ah, it broke the bush. <laughs> no. Come on. Butcher, butcher, butcher. And just tainted meat there because they were naked. Wow. Oi, there we go. So you like when I said being more cautious, I meant just not holding down the movement keys if I'm right next to a town. Come on, get over it. Stab. Ow, you bit my goddamn head. Vitamins, I suppose that's useful. Let's probably take those. Yeah, vitamins kind of give you a temporary immunity to some disease, I believe. Like colds and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of like a really weak version of a vaccine shot. Ooh, a FEMA camp. Yeah, I'll avoid that, because that, yeah, those things just crawling with zombies. Not today. I'm still a little bit bruised. <clears throat> So I'm on the lookout for medical supplies and a car. I've brought my hose out with me. Oh, I hope there isn't a landmine on this. Because if there is, I won't be able to see it. Oh, I can't see the bear traps either. Uh, that's bad. Oh, there's some royal jelly there. That is out. Seriously, I just walked over that tile. Alright, let's go out the way I came in. <laughs> and, yeah, avoid that. Like the plague. Wow, okay. Now my legs buggered as well. Ooh, bodies. Yeah, only in this game would you be excited to see dead bodies. More science ID cards I don't really need. Ooh, goo canister. Those are cool. EMP grenade, very nice. Lots of CBMs that I won't yet be able to um, install. Tasers, I've never used those. I'm not quite sure how effective they are. Let's take that water as well. I was running low. It's a pain uh, purifying water. So yeah, there's lots of cool stuff in here. It's not really... <clears throat> it's not really stuff that I wanted to find at the moment. But I shall mark it on the map. And come back. Sorpses, yeah. So what's this? Hydrogen. Taking that fusion pack. Yeah, I need to be on the lookout for a UPS as well, because I found that um, laser gun, didn't I? Yeah, just a hazy memories of what I actually did the last time I played this. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, lots of useful stuff here. But uh, I don't have time to take it right now. Don't have space. Still running on a sort of 
low uh, space, low encumbrant. Take some codeine because those bear traps really hurt. Yeah, this is why I normally give every character I make a lot of perception. Because, um. Yeah, you don't want to be stepping on landmines. It's not good times. <coughs> Where did that dog go? Did it step on a trap? I don't know. Okay, zombies, right. So I'm kind of on the lookout for a garage. So, because I need a hacksaw, I think? I'm not sure. I know I have a wrench and a welder. I found a welder. <coughs> I found a welder in the farm that I was exploring. No batteries, of course, but I have some of those. Oh, hello. Uh, yep, that's a gas station. So where do we go to sort these zombies out? I suppose... What's that building? Where? Oh, it's an RV. <laughs> it just looked like a building. Right. Um, crazy. I wonder if I can drive it. Yeah, that's a new vehicle, I believe, in 0 0.8. Or is it though? No, actually I think it, it might have been in the game already. I just don't think I've ever seen one. Ow! It's spitting acid at me, you son of a bitch. There's more coming. We're thirsty. Drink some water. Die. So what's this in here? Cigars. Oh, lovely. So I'll just smoke one of those. Eyeglasses, eyeglasses. Empty rooms in the bank. Messenger bag. Do I have one of those? Because I know that they don't have encumbrance. I think I tried one of those on before, didn't I? And yeah, they do give me encumbrance. So, sorry messenger bag, you're not getting worn today. USB drive with miscellaneous software. Lord knows. <coughs> so, we could try and hack this. It would probably set off an alarm. I'll just break. Can I get out of here? Nope. So how is this? No engine. No wheels. Ah, look at that thing though. That's crazy. It's got a bed and kitchen unit. Yeah, I'm gonna mark this on the map because that kitchen unit you can craft them, uh, but they take just stuff that is reasonably hard to find to craft. So uh, yeah, it's nice to actually have one. Uh, are they coming after me? Yep. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that, but I guess we'll do it anyway. See if we can get this zombie brute. Good. Yeah, they're quite fast. Okay, clean the window. Oh, there's another gas station over there. So, let's just examine this car from a distance, because you can see the engine through the frame somehow. <laughs> Uh, because I want a working car. I mean, we're really close to the gas station. So, okay, that's got a working engine. 
I have a little bit of gas in a bottle in my pocket. Hopefully it is actually a car and not sort of connected to that wreckage there. Yes it is. Right, that's going to try and smash its way through those doors, so that's not ideal. Ow. Oh. Oh god, it's quite fast. Ow. <laughs> oh, my leg is messed up. Yeah, I really need some supplies. Really, really need some supplies. Yeah. What happened to my cargo pants? Is that because I just applied a bandage without taking them off? I don't want to take any codeine. Is this cougar coming after me now? Christ. Ow. Back to the window. Okay, I can one-shot cougars, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, you know, you think they're all fierce, wild animals and everything. I've got a wood axe. You try hitting a cougar with a wood axe, what do you think's going to happen? <laughs> ah, so stuff is actually dropping in the window here, now that I've cleaned it. Yeah, it's a good job animals don't come back as zombies, except for zombie dogs. But, um... Anymore? Oh, they're all trying to smash their way through that car, are they? Well, I'll just butcher these corpses while I wait for them. Are you done smashing through the car? Uh... Yeah, sometimes I wish the zombies were a little smarter. Because um, I want to kill all of these zombies nearby so I can fill up that car undisturbed. You know? Smash. Eh, matches. No big deal. Did they finally break through the car door? Ah. It's really irritating. Oh, okay, my leg is nearly done. So yeah, let's uh let's just use this bloody first aid kit cuz having a broken leg is not good fun. East zombie skeleton. Oh, just ignore the noise. I know what it is. So what was the CBM power storage? Very nice. Again, I really don't have the skills to install that. Mm -mm. I'll definitely mark that because you can't have too much power storage. Let's wait for the zombies to get over here. Are we attracting more attention? Yep. We are attracting a wolf. And a skeleton. Die wolfie. And what's that to the north there? So safe mode on. I think it's a deer by the movement pattern. Not a guess. Let's go kill a skeleton. Yeah, it's a deer. Mm -hmm -hmm. Die. Yeah, they don't drop bones. I guess the bones just sort of crumble to dust or something. Okay, so I might be able to just sort of put this gasoline in the car now without being maimed and killed halfway through. And I might... Let me just double check. Yeah. It has a seatbelt and controls. That's fine. 
So let's just back up a little bit. Yeah, that's attracting some attention. Just come around to the gas station. Get it under control, god damn it. <laughs> Look at all the things coming at me. Oh god, steer the goddamn car. Okay, handbrake. Let go of the controls. Let's get out and get inside the gas station. Might as well butcher them while I'm waiting for the rest of them to arrive. Welcome to the party. So, there's probably some nice stuff in here for me to loot as well. So once I dispatch all of the things which were attracted by the engine noise... What is that over there? Let's clean those windows. Yeah, I think now I can actually fill up my car and get it back to the evac shelter. Huh, so they've gone back to showing a bright background on containers when they have stuff in them. Because, yeah, that's, um... Where's that zombie? Come on. Gotta get them over here and kill them. Because I can't have them hitting me in the face while I'm trying to fill my car up. And I... Oops. Bunch of the corpse. So, is there anything useful here? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that lighter. Uh, no, not really. Come on, zombie. I think that zombie over there is actually ignoring me. There we go, now I've got its attention. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I did not see that wolf there. I was just waiting a million turns. Oops. Yeah, good job wolves are just useless. There's a bear? Where's the bear? Northwest. Okay. Uh, is that a deer around there? It looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, so let's put safe mode on. Use the gasoline pump. Refill the vehicle. And there we go. <laughs> yeah. I know. And, hold on. Let me just... Yep, full to 100%. Take control. Drive goddamn slowly because... Yeah. My driving skill is zero, near enough. Like, getting through this gap is going to be a hard time. Especially when there's a bear trying to uh, kill me. Uh, I kind of miss cars being a, a death wagon, even when it's just a normal sedan or something, you know? Now they do sensible amounts of damage. Well, let's speed up a little bit. Oh god, it's terrifying. Okay, so... 20 miles per hour kills animals. Right, we can see some enemies now. Just sort of driving into a neighborhood I haven't cleared out yet. Huh? Okay, the car's swerving. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here on something. There we go. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not a good sight up ahead, is it? <laughs> All blocked by stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to take some codeine. Which I'm sure is just perfectly wise while you're driving. Yeah, should be alright though. 
Alright, let's try to navigate this goddamn obstacle course. Yeah, I mean, once your driving skill gets to, you know, three or four, it becomes a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that smoke cloud could be masking something. And I just saw a car wreckage. Okay. You cannot drive through picket fences anymore. Oh, crap. Yeah, they've really changed car physics. Um, so I'm going to have to turn around. So I just, I don't want to drive through that smoke cloud, I think. Yeah, just driving into bushes now, or shrubs. Um, just seems to stop your car dead. I mean, you used to just be able to... I, like, I'm just ignoring them out of habit and realizing that actually... It's just stopping my goddamn car now. So I'm going to have to really avoid shrubs. Well, that's going to be new. It's going to be a new experience. So, I don't know how this meat is still hot. I cooked it about two days ago, so... So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass actually trying to drive. Ugh. Okay, we can open her up now. There won't be any horrible obstacles besides a couple of squirrels and a couple of spiders following me. And I'm going to slow down here so that I don't crash into the side of my evac shelter. Yeah, that wouldn't be the first time. And pull the handbrake. And we have ourselves a car and an extremely bruised and battered body and no medical supplies but um, we'll figure that out I mean I did spot a pharmacy way the hell down here and I have a car now so you know I can spend a couple of days uh, reading finishing my first aid book while I heal and go hit up that pharmacy and that will probably be the next episode uh, so in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.